Which American founder missed not one, not two, but three opportunities to sign one of the founding documents of the United States? Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we'll be discussing Robert Goldsboro. Now Robert Goldsboro is probably a name you've never heard of. If he did sign one of America's founding documents, he'd probably be a little more famous, but he didn't, and we'll discuss why. Now, Goldsboro was a lawyer from Maryland who had actually practiced briefly in London before returning to the United States, and he was elected sheriff in his early 20s of his county. By 32, he was actually chosen as Attorney General of the Colony of Maryland. Now, just because he was working for the royal government doesn't mean he was uh, in favor of what was happening, and he became a firm patriot after the Stamp Act came, and he, he sided with the patriots from the very beginning, to the point when the First Continental Congress was assembling, he was chosen as one of the Mar Maryland's initial delegates to the First Continental Congress. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he ever attended. I went through every document I could find to see any inclination that he traveled the short distance from Maryland to Philadelphia, and it seems that he never went. And because of this, his name is not on the Continental Association, which is also known as the Articles of Association. The Continental Association was the result of the First Continental Congress and it initiated, among other things, the boycott of British goods that would pretty quickly lead to the American Revolutionary War. Now, eventually Goldsboro does go to the Continental Congress and he's there uh, and in, during the build-up towards independence. However, apparently he felt like he just wasn't getting enough done, so he decided to return to Maryland where he could do more important work, at least from his mind. Now, this was in May of 1776. Had he stayed just two or three months longer, he would have been able to sign the Declaration of Independence. But, unfortunately, he missed document number two. So, Gerber Goldsboro goes home, and he's an important member of Maryland. Had you lived in Maryland at the time, you would have uh, obviously known who he was. He helped write the first Constitution, and he was elected to the inaugural State Senate. Now, he would be in the Senate for over a decade, and during this time, he would actually be elected to go to Philadelphia for the Constitutional Convention. This time, through no fault of his own, he became very ill and just couldn't travel, which, you know, like I said, it's not his fault, but he still missed his third opportunity to sign one of the founding documents of the United States. So, we're going to keep it short and sweet today. Uh, Robert Goldsboro, unfortunately, missed three documents that he should have been able to sign. Had he signed one of them, he would have been Probably more famous. If you get your name on two of them, people like me know exactly who you are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit like. It really helps me out. And uh, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I put out videos like this five days a week, plus a live one on Saturday. So join us for all, or one or two when you get the chance. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to bringing you another founder tomorrow.